Hello everyone. Update 1.13 just arrived on test server today with all of its changes. I'm not gonna waste any of your time, let's jump straight into it. Crytek has made a shooting range. In the shooting range we can find target dummies, short, medium and long distance shooting range with plenty of weapons, nades and target dummies. In the shooting range you can also ping to see the distance and when you shoot a dummy you can see the damage you've done. It is also now possible to 1v1 your friends in the shooting range. So you can finally settle the dispute. A huge thing this update is the ammo supply rework. The old resupply system with, ba with percentages is now gone. It is replaced with a fixed resupply rate. In this image you can exactly see how much you're getting from each individual ammo box. And something they didn't show is the resupply for the special special ammos. So bow, crossbow, dolch, nitro and bomb lens. Okay. Dual wielding no longer gives you extra ammo, so it's gonna be much less used. Springfield Dum Dum now deals intense bleed. I've tested this in the range and it takes now about 4 seconds for a person to bleed out if you hit them for 132 damage. It is now possible to carry 2 ammos on the bomb lens. Incendiary ammo can now set you on fire in the first set before the damage drop off starts. I've tested all of the guns that can have fire ammo and it goes as follows. Any long ammo rifle can set you on fire 40 meters and below, medium and compact rifles are on 20 meters and every pistol in the game is 20 meters. I've played around a bit with fire ammo on the test server but it did not seem to have a huge impact but it's something to pay attention to. The martini handy got a slight buff, I tried it, it wasn't that impactful but it got a big ammo increase. The Romero hand cannon got its reload speed lowered and the Romero hatchet got its reload speed increased. Now I tried it and it didn't seem to have that big of an impact, almost none actually, so that's still fine. The officer carbine got its recoil adjusted. Now this is a big one. The recoil now is still a bit erratic but you can now predict it and control it. This is a huge buff and you're gonna see big gameplay of it later. Explosive ammo has now the same amount of ammo as any base ammo. So finally this got buffed but it, explosive ammo is still not good. I tried it, it wasn't really still <laughs> anything you could use reliably. Okay. And the Springfield crack got two more bullets in reserve. Also a very noticeable buff is gonna be resilience. Resilience now restores all of your HP. Aftomat was also nerfed this patch, increasing its vertical and horizontal recoil. I'm, go I'm not gonna control. I, I mean, you can see they added something, a lot of recoil. But I'm, I, I think I can still control it pretty easily. Yeah, it's still pretty easy to control if you just pull your mouse down and a bit of horizontal movement as well. The Bloodborne economy got also a big rework, but I'll link a video down below for you to watch, explaining it in more detail. A huge quality of life update is that of respec. Respecting your health bars is now completely free. You can arrange your health bars as you wish, but restoring your burned health bars after exiting a match still costs trait points. You can now remove traits by spending one trait point. That means if you have, for example, Greyhound, you respec it, you now get four trait points back. No more blood bonds, nothing. You might also ask, what happens if I respec a one trait point? You get nothing. But in most scenarios, it's better of ha not having that trait. It's more worth having a free slot. Another huge quality of life update is weapon cleaning. Every weapon you buy now is always clean. That is since 1.12, but now, if you exit a match and your weapon is dirty because you died, it is now automatically cleaned, so you will never have dirty weapons entering the match. Every dirty weapon you have in your inventory after patch 1.13 will be now cleaned for free. There is a lot of miscellaneous bug fixes and little adjustments that are not worth mentioning, and I'll link the patch notes down below the video in the comments. As for what I think about this update, I think it's great. The ammo rework is huge. You don't need to always just stack ammo now. For example, if you pick up, pick up a Mosin, you might want to consider something like the new army FMJ because you get a lot of compact ammo bullets back, whereas on the long ammo you get only two. They're also trying to incentivize more team play with ammo boxes because ammo is more scarce now. If you play one compact ammo weapon now, it got a huge buff. So you could even like carry a Bornheim and now you don't get two, three bullets back, you get eight bullets back, which is which makes it actually playable now. Medium ammo is always still in the middle. I would still like to see medium ammo receive maybe 30 meter drop off range, but it is fine now as it is. And long ammo is finally having some ammo scarcity. I played on the test server and I still did not manage to run out of ammo even when I just had one long ammo weapon. But depending on the situation and the match type, it you might actually run out of ammo and be in trouble. Now I'm gonna show you some cool gameplay with all the new change stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, Lloyd.
Das ist ein da. Yes, hallo, man. Well, light footed, man. Is he solo, though? Well, doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter, but it doesn't really. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think. I think it's a, it's a trio. Stay there. <laughs> this is such a funny level that I love it. Yeah, the fire rate is so good man now. Well, not the fire rate, but the no recoil. Might be full trio. I love it, man.
Ah, it's the other guy. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can now though. Not much you can do there, really. Playing behind cover has never been more useful, guys. Okay, I'll go around all the way though. I like how we're all just carefully aiming shots. <laughs> Ah, here's the sparks. Well, he only got set on fire because he stepped in the fire. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. Didn't set anyone on fire. <laughs> in front of <laughs> Billy behind the toilet.
More people, more people. I don't know. <laughs> this guy's crown saver? Oh. oh, this is so cool that you can switch, man, and then have a shotgun and you can kill a meter that's annoying you. Oh my god, it's so nice.